Today we are checking out the Witch Slap attack strategy here at Town Hall 12. Stay tuned. <laughs> up fam welcome to Roar's channel where today we're going to be looking at the witch slap attack strategy here in jacked and shredded as they showcase that attack all too beautifully like beasts they are guys you see it right there they are in champs one pushing their way to possibly first place against all these champ one clans guys killing it indeed i'm gonna tell you right now if you guys want access to 10 years of good luck smash that subscribe button turn on the notification bell for daily clash of clans content guys now let's jump into to these beautiful attacks. All right, fam, so here it is. The Witch Slap composition sits in front of you guys are seeing Hoy bring this attack in like a BC is. Gonna be pushing in a Queen Walk there at the south, and just small enough so he doesn't have to use a Rage, but enough to create that funnel so all the witches take the funnel right there at the south side. Now, on the east side, the funnel is created by an Electro Dragon who takes that compartment down all by his little lonesome. And what I'm gonna tell you here, guys, why did he push in at that south side? He grabs a ton of value and the wall record doesn't sustain too much damage getting him access all the way to the giga tesla and i learned something today on this attack which i'll cover here once we get it started so let's just get it started guys all right here it is. Play has been initiated. I'm going to zoom in just a small bit. Queen is down, guys. And you guys notice he doesn't really need anything to get the queen walking towards the east side there. Pushing down, grabbing a few value, which is what is necessary to make these witches funnel in behind the wall wrecker. All right. Electro Dragon's down. King's down. A couple bowlers to push the king over towards the wall wrecker side. Witches are in. Two ice golems and now we're raging the troops up into the center. Kind of doing that so that not only can we push through the CC troops, we can also get to that Eagle Artillery all too quickly before that splash damage defense does too much damage. Now, I wanna slow this down here, guys. Let me, let me push this in at one and a half time. Out from the CC pops a Pekka and an Ice Golem, but what I found interesting, boom, guys, did you just see that? The Ice Golem went up in flames and I didn't realize that they fall to a a uh, trap there, um, the spring trap. I fi I figured they'd walk right over him, but what was interesting, uh, they bounced out, but the ice still covered the portion it would if it just died. I learned something new here today. I didn't know that they can fall to a spring trap. Now, in comes the bat spells. We use seven of them, freezing up those splash damage defenses, guys, but I was pretty shocked here. Now, check it out. Witches are, are the, the bat spells are grabbing a lot of value there. Um, as you can see him work around, he's not gonna grab those north um, uh, wizard towers, but check it out, he is indeed grabbing um, a few expos, which does indeed help the success of this attack strategy here. We have plenty of witches up, and guys, if you don't know anything about witches, those skellies just tear through walls and move so quickly to their next target. Queen is still up and alive, doesn't have her queen ability, but has those healers on top of them to make sure um, she stays alive. Actually worked out really well there as he pushes forward to make this attack successful. Now, what do you guys see? Plenty of witches, tons of witches. We have those healers on top of them. Those healers are a central part of this attack, ensuring they stay alive, making sure that they're not getting beat up by any air defenses. It's something you wanna look at prior to making this attack happen. Moving around, you guys can see it all happen here. Nothing more to say about this beastly attack. I'll speed it up here two times. Nothing else, guys. Nothing really to say. Four times, and there you guys see it. Great job here, Hoy, repping, jacked and shredded like a beast you are. Check it out. Composition sits in front of you. If you want to take a screenshot and try this attack out yourself. Moving on to the next attack. All right, fam, so here it is in from Ace in my pocket showcasing this Witch Slap attack strategy here. He's going to be pushing in an Electro Dragon there at the south, pushing down the queen right there at that gold storage, pushing your way up towards the east. And on the east side, guys, is gonna be a king. He's gonna drop that king, drop that Valkyrie there, and a couple witches behind him. And what I love here, what I absolutely love is watching him burn the king's ability, pushing through those um, structures outside of the base on the east side so that those witches will funnel in all too quickly. Now let's just watch how it happens. Now that you guys got a sense of what takes place. Now, here it goes. 
Loon is down. Coconut Loon grabs, look at that. Grabs one of those mines there. Electro Dragon is doing big things. Taking down the storage here. He notices he's not going to pick up that Archer Tower. So drops in a wizard to get it done. Wizard Archer Tower is about to fall. We're going to be pushing our way in towards that Wizard Tower, guys. Great value there from the Electro Dragon. Grabbing everything he needed there um, for the Queen to take the funnel. Now, you guys ask, why is the Queen... Why do we use a Queen Walk here? Well, he's not using necessarily a Queen Walk. Just more so creating the funnel. You notice he only has one Rage. So, you don't want to walk your Queen too much. Um, as you don't want her needing a rage to stay alive. Down goes the queen. You notice the placement of the heal spells. Good placement because any more towards the south, guys, that infernal tower might just grab hold of them. Down goes the king like I talked about. Valk is also in there. Two witches behind the king. And now check it out. Pushing in the wall wrecker, burning the king's ability prior to really needing it to make sure the funnel is created pretty quickly. Witches are down. Pushing in behind the wall wrecker there and pushing it through walls, guys. That wall wrecker is good. The essential to here in this attack pushing in not only the warden's ability as he's being hit by those infernal towers in two expos and all of everything there in that compartment good usage of his warden's ability there now we're dealing with some pups guys and pups are slowing the attack down a bit but what i love is as soon as they deal with them it's like they it's like they are charged up and pushes the attack like a boss down goes the rage and now here goes that push i talked about ice golem comes up on the north which probably means we're coming in with those bat spells and here it goes freezing up an expo freezing up a wizard tower and here we go bat spells are in to wreck shop out comes the eagle artillery booms and guys they go for the um bat spells something you have to be careful of when keeping an eagle up is they do target bats guys and it is a scary thing because they'll take them down in one swipe so Either deal with the Eagle Artillery and know that your bats will get it done quickly. All right, bats are still alive. Ice Golem, I'm not sure how much value the Ice Golem got there, but it did indeed help with keeping some bats alive. Queen still has her ability with healers still on top of her since the very beginning. I love, I love that combination there. And look, guys, up on the north, check out all those witches so much witches you can't even count them i love it guys as all those skellies make the ray around this base they're just destroying house this is obviously a beautiful triple here from ace in my pocket showcasing just what this clan is capable of as they sit in champs one that is some of the top clans and i will tell you it's beautiful to watch composition sits in front of you guys and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video learn maybe one or two things as we watch this um the these attacks together if you guys did like what you see guys don't forget to smash the subscribe button leave a comment down below like the video share it and let's get big together with that said everybody have a fantastic weekend roar is most definitely out and stay classy